We're going to be doing an out-of-state investment case study. CASP LLC, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is the show on Holton Wise TV where we work mano a mano, one-on-one, -on -one, right? And uh, we help you build, grow, start uh, your real estate portfolio, create passive income through real estate, the whole nine, right? And uh, I'm working with a company, it's called Casp LLC, a couple cats, uh, a couple business owners, a couple entrepreneurs started this thing. Uh, Long-time clients of ours, and these guys are, um, not only are they out of state, uh, at least partially they're out of country because I know they do a lot of work with China. So, you know, this deal, right? Anybody, anybody watching this right now, if you are out of state, long distance, out of the country even, right? This is a great case study for you because essentially what I'm about to do for you guys is I'm going to break down uh, this investment for you. And, you know, we're going to talk about what's happening right now, what's going to happen in the future, and, you know, set the proper expectations because that's what we do. And then, of course, uh, you know, you guys from CASP, if you guys want to do the deal, we'll do the deal. If not, we'll uh, work on something else, right? Because that's what we do. That's what we do on this show. 1001 Woodview Road, Cleveland Heights, uh, 44121, on the market, 68 days, priced at 77000 four bed, two bath, all right? It's a nice looking house, and that's why I picked it for you guys. I know you guys, number one, you love B class, you love single families, you guys definitely like that stuff. You guys are very pride of ownership type owners. You know, we get. You know, a varying range of clientele here at Holton Wise, and some folks are penny pinchers. Uh, some folks uh, want to go to high-risk neighborhoods, and they want to, uh, you know, run the business, spending as little money as possible. Other folks uh, feel that investing in their business to try to create the nicest possible product will result them in a higher return on investment, right? So we work with everybody, and you guys are very much like, let's put the money into it, let's get nicer assets, we don't want to go into the rougher neighborhood. So that's, you know, all reasons I thought this would be a cool deal for you guys. Now, it's actually tenant-occupied, so the photos you're looking at, that's prior to... The tenant going in. It's a uh, you know a very basic rehab. Uh, this is actually already professionally managed. Um, as far as the rents go on the chart, what you're looking at, that's not exactly true. Uh, allow me to explain. I have put on there 1,025 a month or 12,300 a year. Moving on to the next chart you guys are used to seeing from me, which is the one where I break down the monthly averages. Okay. 1025 a month comes in an average estimate of 622 goes out leaving us with an NOI of 403 the way that this particular property manager does their business they actually charge the tenants uh, rent and then let the tenants pay their own water and sewer bill so this particular tenants rent their lease technically with this other property management company is 950 and the tenants are responsible for the water and sewer on my chart as you see I have adjusted the rent to 1025 and will be billing the owner the owner will be responsible for the $75 right uh, I would like to explain you know if I got uh, folks on there Casp LLC, you guys understand how we do things, but for the other folks that uh, are watching your video a couple months after I gave it to you guys that are kind of getting confused by what the hell I'm talking about, let me pull up the fact on HoltonWise.com. Okay, folks, we're all about transparency here at HoltonWise.com, and one of the biggest pain in the asses dealing with uh, rental properties in the Cleveland market is dealing with the landlord-tenant laws in combination with the Cleveland Division of Water. It is a whole freaking nightmare. And it's such a nightmare that I have dedicated this entire part of our fact to it, right? I would like to charge the tenants for water and sewer. Will you bill my tenants? Here at Holton Wise, I'm not going to read this whole thing, so you'll have to check out the fact if you want to read it all. We're just going to briefly go over it. Here at Holton Wise, we do not 
bill your te we do not allow your tenants to pay the water and sewer bill because in a nutshell again all the information is here but in a nutshell the water runs with the land here it's not like gas and electric where the tenants put them in their names and then if the tenants don't pay it uh you know the water and gas company will go after the tenants not how it works with water and sewer okay are you a lender if so Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. With water and sewer, even though the tenant could set up their own subtenant account, uh, where you know they are authorized to talk to the water department and their name will be on there. The bill still is, is in your name. It's stuck to you. It's stuck to your property. So if the tenant doesn't pay it, they will lien your home. So because of that, us at Holton Wise, we do not allow the tenants to pay the water and sewer bills. We keep it in your name and we just include it in the rent. It also has to do with like how you evict these people, right? Because if a tenant tries to make a partial payment, uh, you can't really evict them, okay? Uh, it's kind of like they have to pay if you you know accept anything any amount you can't really evict them so it's just in a nutshell so much more efficient and easy and professional to just include that build that into the rent so the technical lease 950 but they have the tenant paying the water and sewer when Holton Wise if we were to take this over we would make the adjustment we would give the tenants a new lease at 1025 and they would no longer be subject to paying the water and sewer now there are some negatives to how that works but again I explain all of it in our fact with the current hand we are dealt here in the Cleveland market and how the water runs with the land and how the Cleveland Division of Water sets things up, this is ultimately the very best way to do it, and this is the only way we will do it at Holton Wise. This other property management company, albeit a much smaller one than Holton Wise, uh, they do it a different way, which is, you know, fine. But I have done it every which way throughout my years of managing thousands of tenants, and the way I do it, uh, is in my opinion the best way and it's the only way Holton Wise will ever do water sewer. So that is that, right? So you got the NOI, okay? You got uh, understanding the water sewer. Let's get back to the rest of the photos, okay? You know, fairly decent uh, renovation prior to them putting the tenant in there. When we were, like, when we're looking at our next turnover, right, I'd love to keep this tenant in there as long as humanly possible. We're getting a good rent, right, 1025. That's great. When we do the next turnover, though, I want to improve it a little bit, right? I'd like to do some premium upgrades in the kitchen and the bath, get it looking even nicer because this is a big old house, man. It's a 4-2. If we were to go with the Section 8 route, I think we could actually get that rent up maybe to around like 11 11 50 to be honest with you. But where it's at right now, for all intents and purposes, we're very close to market rent, and our goal would be to keep that tenant in there as long as humanly possible, right? And it's bringing in an NOI of 403 a month. So as far as price goes, they have it listed at 77 I think that's a solid price. I would just like us to, you know, try to come in a little bit under that 75k. If we could pick it up at 75k, clear POS. I want us to get it clear POS, POS clear. Uh, anybody watching this show who's never heard the term POS doesn't stand for piece of shit. I've actually had somebody comment on one of the videos. It was like a POS video. They're like, oh, I thought you meant piece of shit. No, no, no. It stands for point of sale. Incredibly important if you're going to invest in the Cleveland market. A lot of the municipalities in this market have these point-of-sale requirements. Pause this show right now. In the show notes, I've got a video completely explaining what the point-of-sale is. Going forward, I'm going to assume you know what I'm talking about. Now, with this one, I want to have them give it to us point-of-sale clear. The price they're asking would be way too high if we had to do point-of-sale repairs. In addition, this property management company, they're a legitimate company, uh, so I know that that particular seller has access to contractors to actually deliver it to us point-of-sale clear. So 75 k point-of-sale clear would be a fair price for this. That would put us at a 6.4 cap. I know you guys have been, uh, you got a lot of cash, and you're probably going to pay cash, but if you were to finance it, it would pencil out to a 10.6 return on investment. Now, another thing we could do, too, that is the appropriate price 
for a clear point of sale. But they haven't actually ordered it yet, so I don't know exactly what it is. Another thing we could do, since you have Holton Wise's contracting team and you do have ample amounts of cash, to get the deal even better, when they do, uh, you know, say they agreed to our deal, 75, they deliver us clear POS. When they do uh, actually order that POS, maybe it turns out they don't feel like dealing with that work or having the other company do that work. We could then go back to the negotiation table. Maybe it's like $10,000 worth of point of sale repairs. Instead of doing a one for one where we're before we were, you know, 75 clear POS. Now they say, hey, will you just assume the POS it's 10K? We wouldn't want to ask for a 10K reduction. We'd want to ask for like a 12, 13, 14, 15K reduction in that scenario because it's a hassle, right? So it's never going to be a one-to-one -one reduction. It's usually going to be like a one to one two five one five type reduction. So we could possibly play with that in the future, but that's going to be information that uh, we're going to have to get down the road here. So first we got to get it under contract, contingent on your own third-party inspection make sure you guys dig everything then we'll get them to get that pos to us and uh, we could possibly renegotiate from there but either way you know however the house is going to pencil out i think it's perfect for you guys portfolio it kind of goes in line with some of the other stuff you guys have been buying and i i saw it and i just thought of you guys and i thought you guys would uh, totally dig this one so uh if you want to move forward make an offer reply to the private email like you always do if for whatever reason you don't like this one totally cool you're not going to offend me just let me know why uh, so when I give you your next video, I make sure I, I make the necessary adjustments so I can, uh, you know, get you something that fits exactly what you want, right? But uh, from what I've done with you two in the past, I, I feel like I'm right on the money here. But hey, if anything has changed, please let me know the next video. It will be something totally different. Everybody else, I talked about it a little bit earlier, but if you're interested in working with us one-on-one -on -one like this to build or grow your real estate investment portfolio, go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, order some packages on the MLS search and analysis show today. Not only can we give you all this information, set you up on a proper buying decision, represent you in the sale. After it closes, we'll be able to handle everything from top to bottom, right? This particular property, there's already a professional property manager. If you wanted to, you could use them. If not, Holton Wise will take it over. We have full service property management, full service construction, repairs, landscaping, maintenance. We even have insurance and title we have the whole thing top to bottom right we do it all more information on our property management services can be found in that same fact we were looking at to check out the water and sewer bill everyone else those folks out there that are just watching this to learn because you ain't ready to invest just yet that's totally fine education is the first step so do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because holton wise tv is Real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.